ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for Cake Check! Check. Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Chen San Pascual and this is K-Check. Hindi lang ito isang test ng brain power ng ating mga contestants. Imbitado rin kayong sumagot at matuto. Remember, every K-Check is an opportunity for us to teach and learn. But today's K-Check is extra special dahil ito na ang last weekly finals at sa araw na ito, malalaman natin kung sino ang huling papasok sa ating semifinal round. Nasa home stretch na po tayo, kaya huwag kayong bibitaw. Samahan nyo kami until that final week of competition when we find out kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check Champion. Kilalanin natin ngayon ang ating apat na daily winners. One of them will move on to a spot in our semifinals kung pumasa siya sa ating K-Check sa araw na ito. Ray loves to learn from his travels. He's a videographer who longs to capture the beauty of his travels through the lens of his camera. Paula is a linguistic student from UP Diliman who loves learning and finds studying how languages work very useful. Next, we have Ian, a graduating mechanical engineering student who enjoys walking around UP. He also loves playing volleyball. Last, we have Hannah, who studies BS Chemistry, minor in Gala and Org. She roller skates and explores food spots during her free time. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Professor Aimee Sue Martinez of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Ray, in what native game does a competitor try to climb a greased pole? Palo Sebo. Okay, check. Paula, how many hours are there in two days? 48 hours. Okay, check. Ian, in TV shows, on what street do Ernie, Bert, and Gordon live? Sesame Street. Okay, check. Anna, what Greek capital did the modern Olympic Games first take place? Athens. Okay, check. Ray, which Philippine province is closest to Taiwan? Uh, Batanes. Okay, check. Paula, which metallic element is noted for its high specific gravity, metallic luster, and its yellow color? Um, gold. Okay, check. Ian, in measurements, how many inches are there in three feet? 36. Okay, check. Hannah, what black and white animal is the most expensive to maintain in captivity? Zebra. Malik, panda. Ray, how many weeks are there in 28 days? Four weeks. Okay, check. Paula? In Shakespeare's play, what city does the merchant Antonio come from? Venice. Okay, check. Ian, at about four meters long, a hammerhead is a type of what fish? Shark. Okay, check. Hannah, last question. How many months are there in one and a half years? Eighteen. Okay, check. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check para mian round. Laban na laban ang mga contesta. Oo, finals na finals ang datingan, mm -hmm. ba? Saktong-sakto dahil last day ngayon. Correct. Walang itulak kabigin. Oo, naghanda sila. Uh, speaking of naghanda, may hinandang question ata si Paula <laughs> sa isa sa ating mga horado. Okay, hello po, Sir Neil. Um, ano pa yung specialty niyo po um, sa history? Sa MA, ang aking thesis ay about film history. So, nagsulat ako about institutional history ng LVN Studios. So, noong 1950s, mayroong big three sa uh, film industry. So, ito yung mga big studios. So, mayroong Sampagita, may LVN, uh, may Premier. Okay, sa PhD naman, dahil galing ako sa Cagayan de Oro City, nag-ambag ako hinggil sa kasaysayan ng Cagayan de Oro. So, um, local history at film history. Okay, pero malapit sa mga nasulat ko na, malapit sa puso ko sa mga sinulat ko na, 
about volunteerism. In fact, yun yung pinaka uh, well-cited ko na work on ugnayan ng pahinod. Uh, merong gurong pahinod, uh, parang 10-month deployment na mga volunteer teachers mula sa UP na nagtuturo sa mga deprived, depressed areas across the archipelago. So, gustong-gusto ko yung study na yan. So, in short, uh, iba-iba. Kasi nung pumasok ako sa UP, hindi para magturo kung hindi maging history buff or trivia master. So, nagkataon lang, in-invite ako magturo na gustuhan ko, then tuloy-tuloy na. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Mia. No? Mas nakikilala natin ang ating mga hurado. Correct. Uh -huh. At ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next here on K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Ano na ba ang accumulated points ng ating mga contestants? Si na Ray, Paula, Ian ay may tig 30 points each. At si Hana, 20 points. Exciting ang laban. Oo, dikit-dikit. Mm -hmm. Diba? Correct. May questions para ba kayo sa ating mga hurado? Okay, si Hana, no? Parang ngiting-ngiti siya. Matagal <laughs> niyang tinago itong tanong na to. Hana, go ahead. Sino ang pipiliin natin sa kanila? Uh, dahil po ako'y taga-chem, pipiliin ko po yung taga-chem din po. Meron po akong tanong for Ma'am Amy. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so this question. <laughs> Ayan. So, uh, Ma'am Amy, ang tanong ko po ay, bilang isang, uh, isang beauty queen at ngayon woman in STEM, ano po ang pinakamahirap na challenge na inyong in-overcome? So, one of the most difficult things that I had to overcome um, attaining uh, PhD in STEM, no, is really proving that is proving that even though I am a woman, I can do things that are difficult to do, such as you know lifting things that are heavy, <laughs> um, designing or creating instruments, really, which requires machining and a lot of glass blowing. And so, at the end of the day, what you can say is that even though it's very difficult, I can do it if your heart is in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ang ganda. Ang yeah. power no na? Powerful talaga. Oo, Ang naman. beauty queen and STEM. Oh Oo naman. Mm. Ngayon naman, pupunta na tayo sa K-Check Pabilizan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito ha, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin. First question. Which historical figure was assassinated on the Ides of March 44 BC? Paula? Julius Caesar. Okay, check. One of the top-grossing films of 2018 that earned more than a billion dollars starred Ch Chadwick Boseman as Chala. Paula? Black Panther. What is this movie that ended up number two to Avengers Infinity War in the 2018 box office list? Black Panther. Kate. Who served as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom for six weeks? in 2022. Ray. Boris Johnson. Malik. Correct answer is Liz Truss. Next question. What is the name of the strong green pungent Japanese spice that Hannah? Wasabi that comes from the rhizomes of a horse radish plant. Wasabi Keisha. Who wrote the book Fantastic Beasts and where to, Hannah? JK Rowling. And where to find them in 2001 using the pen name Newt's Commander? JK Rowling, Keisha. Next question. What is the name of the airplane 
that dropped the first atomic bomb in Hiroshima, Japan in 1945? The correct answer is Enola Gay. Next, what is the name of the woman who was bribed by the lords of the Philistines to know the secret of Samson's strength? Paula? Delilah. Kate. On October 18, 1867, the United States paid Russia $7.2 million to purchase what land? Hannah. Alaska. Kate. Next. Which American author created the literary character Captain Ahab and his nemesis Moby Dick? The correct answer, Herman Melville. Next, what is both the oldest capital city in the Americas and the largest Spanish-speaking city in the world? Ian? California. Malay. The correct answer is Mexico City. Next to the elephant, this large mammal, which is hunted for its horn, Hannah? Rhinoceros. Is the second most massive land animal. What is this three-ton animal? Rhinoceros, cage. Last question. Who is the Siberian mystic healer who befriended the family to Tsar Nicholas II? Paula? Rasputin. And is often referred to as the Mad Monk. Rasputin, K Check. And that's the end of our K Check Fabulison Round. Now, Una, si Paula with 110 points. Hannah has 100 points. Ian and Ray both have 20 points. Impressive ang ating mga contestants. Ramdam na ramdam mo yung laban Correct. sa kanila, uh, di ba? Napaka-competitive. Oo ito naman. Ito yung mga classmates ko. Ito yung mga pa paunahin ko sa pila lagi pag may mga tanong yung teachers. <laughs> Sabi uh, ko nga. Speaking of competitive, no, Ray, may competitive question ka daw sa isa sa mga judges natin. Yes, kasi medyo hili ko ang Philippine literature. So, I'm going to ask Professor Glessy. So, Professor, um, ano po ang pinaka paborito ninyong Filipino literature book and bakit po? <laughs> okay. Uh, kung tungkol sa theory, okay, ang gusto ko ay yung Tagalog Poetry ni Bienvenido Lumbera. Kasi ang pag-aaral ko ay nasa dula at ang pagsi-theory ko ay nagsimula ang dula sa tula. So, yun ang aking starting point. Yun. Salamat. Thank you, Ma'am Glessy. No? And thank you for that very competitive question. <laughs> this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet. Dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round, susunod na here on K-Check! K -check. Recap muna ulit tayo, leading si Paula with 110 points, followed by Hannah, 100 points, and tig 20 points si Ray and Ian. Strong ating mga contenders. Oo, oh, excited ako sa susunod na round kung ano pang ang ibubuga nila. Okay, meron pang ibubuga. May mga katanungan pa ba kayo sa ating mga judges? Okay, Ian. Eh, kung ayoko. Hindi, joke lang. Sige, okay lang. Ang question ko po, uh, paano niyo po uh, binibuild ang inyong confidence sa pag-speak sa harap ng maraming tao? Ah, okay. Well, yung kasama ko kasi dito <laughs> ay isang magaling na, ah, ba? parang kabanter. So, gusto ko yung mga tao na nag-nurture ng aking skills, no? And uh, dahil nga meron ako mga kasama dito na napaka-friendly na mga faces, nadadala nila, no? Yung energy na yon papunta sa akin, okay? Yon. Thank you, Harry Potter, for that question. Thank you, Paul. Okay. <laughs> We're now heading into our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan, where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. 
at para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors na ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Weekly Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Question number one, Prof. Glessy. Sa larangan ng pelikula at dula, who is the late director of the film, Sakada, and innovator of UP Repertory's famous play, Scholar ng Bayan? The answer is Mr. Benjamin or Ben Cervantes, ang tawag naming Holy Terror. Maraming salamat, Prof. Leslie. Prof. Neil, next question. Current events. Tukuyin ang dalawang pinakabagong probinsya ng bansa. Naganap ang plebesito noong Setyembre 2022 na hatiin ang probinsya ng Maguindanao sa dalawang probinsya. Okay. Sa ang tamang sagot ay Maguindanao del Norte at Maguindanao del Sur. Thank you. Prof. Aimee, next question. Question for science. In the Bible, which chemical element is referred to as brimstone? With an atomic mass of 32.065 units, the correct answer is sulfur. Nagwa-warm up pa ang ating mga contestants, no? Okay, next question, Prof. Blessy. Okay, o, sa larangan ulit ng theater at literature, okay? What is the name of the national artist for literature who penned the libretto for many well-loved musicals, including The Tales of the Manuvu, Nasa Puso ang Amerika, Noli Metang Hereda Musical, and Hibik at himagsik ni Victoria Lactao. Ang sagot ay ang aming itay, si Bienvenido Lumbera. Thank you, Prof. Lessie. Next question, Prof. Neil. World history. Ano ang unang bansa na nagbigay ng karapatan sa kababaihan na bumoto? Ang bansang ito ay kasalukuyang pinamumunuan ni Prime Minister Hacinda Ardern. Ang tamang sagot ay New Zealand. Thank you. Prof. Aimee. Math naman. What is 90 degrees in radians in terms of pi? Hannah, pi halves. Since pi is 180, 90 degrees is pi over 2. k -check. Thank you. Prof. Glassy? O Philippine literature ulit. Okay. Si Carlos Bulosan hails from Binalonan, Pangasinan, and is best known for his work on the life and struggles of Filipino migrant workers in the U.S. in the 1930s. He is also a labor organizer. What is the title of this novel on Filipino migrant workers in the U.S.? The title of the novel is America is in the Heart. Thank you. Recap po na tayo. No? Hannah has 130 points. Paula has 110 points. Ray and Ian, 20 points. No? So crucial itong mga... Tanong na ito, no? Go ahead, Prof. Neil. Tanong naman para sa world history. Anong kasunduan noong 1948 ang nagbigay daan sa pagtatatag ng World Trade Organization noong 1995? Tamang sagot ay GAT. GATT or General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Prof. Aimee. 
The capacity of a material to deform permanently in response to stress is called Paula? Malleability. Hey, check. Metals have this property. The correct answer is malleability. Thank you, Prof. Aimee. Nagbabago ng konti yung mga numbers natin. Paula now has 140 points. Han has 130 points, no? Last three questions. So, 90 points, no? Ang pwede pang makuha. Let's begin with Prof. Glessy's question. Hey, literature ulit. This epic from Ifugao tells about the adventures of the son of Amlalao and Dumulao of the town of Hananga. What is the epic called? The answer is Hudhudhi Aliguyon. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. Tanong para sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas. Sino ang politikong Pilipino ang nagtaguyod ng pagkakaroon ng independent foreign policy noong 1950s? Siya rin ang main sponsor bakit meron tayong kurso sa Rizal. Legislated course na kinukuha ng lahat ng college students sa buong bansa. Ang tamang sagot ay Claro Mayo Recto. Mm -hmm. Claro M. Recto. Okay, itong question na to, pag makuha ni Paula, siya na talaga. Pero pag makuha din ni Hana, siya din ang posible. No? <laughs> so, nasa sa'yo mga kamay ang bird and prop ivy. Pinakahuling tanong, who discovered the four moon, main moons of Jupiter? Hana? Galileo. That is why they are called the four Galilean moons. The correct answer is Galileo Galilei. Hey, Chad. Thank you, Astro Thank Sol. you, Prof. Amy. <laughs> and that's the end of our third round, the k Check Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to our weekly winner, Hannah, with a final score of 160 points. She will receive a fell throw from PVUP and will see Hannah again in our semifinals next week. Thanks to Ray, Paula, and Ian for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Aimee. This is Chenson Pascual. And I am Junella Bohr. Join us again on Monday for another... Paycheck!